Hey world, Sura here, inspiring soul success and continuation of the series on learning how to manage your emotions when your trust is broken. So question for today is what do you do when you have your trust broken? And I shared with you my personal story about what happened to me and how I learned to actually heal and set boundaries for myself. So I found a very, very good quote and I posted it on my Facebook wall and it says that boundaries are part of self-care. They are healthy, they are normal and they are necessary. So what is boundaries? Boundaries is the lines that you draw where you actually teach other people how to respect yourself. Because when you do not have boundaries, you become like a doormat and people actually walk all over you, you can do anything to you and you just accept it. I was once upon a time like that. In fact, I have a nickname. My nickname was Aga Aga Gudel. So Aga Aga Gudel means a soft jelly, you know. And that was me. That was my nickname. People can do anything to me, walk over me, step on me like a doormat, and I'll just keep quiet. I wouldn't be able to have my own voice. I can speak up. I know I'm always, always afraid of confrontation. So I always find a way to sweep things under the carpet. I'd rather not confront the things. So I learned over all these years that it's very, very important to say no and to be able to not be aggressive but be assertive. Assertive means you have to step up, speak up and express your truth. So here I actually wrote that I respect myself and care for myself and my loved ones enough to say no without guilt, no permission and set boundaries on who and what I allow in my space. It takes quite a muscle to do that and how do you know that you're on track? You'll be given a lot of different kinds of people who's going to test waters and really stretch your boundaries and those are amazing moments because those are times for you to actually exercise your assertiveness, for you to be able to say no, this is enough, this is it, draw your line and you can send love and you can send good prayers and blessings from far because there are certain people you totally do not want to have in your space because they simply contribute to toxic energy. Now, what about you? How do you actually set boundaries and perimeters for yourself? I love to hear from you. Comment below and see you in the next series. Bye for now.